The DEA is keeping a close eye on the NFL. The Federal Drug Enforcement agent, uh, hit, Agency rather hit several teams with surprise inspections after Sunday's games. As Brandy Hitt explains, this is part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of illegal prescription drug abuse. Off the field Sunday, federal drug agents were performing surprise raids on several NFL teams. DEA agents digging through the medical bags of several team training staffs for the Detroit Lions, San Francisco 49ers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Seattle Seahawks, and more, as part of an ongoing investigation into potential violations of the Controlled Substances Act. The 49ers staff insisting Sunday they were in the clear. We are reaction random checks right. to team physicians as they travel that they're transferred to, to see if anybody's transferring controlled substances across state lines. That's Did all the information we have. But our sister network ESPN reports the surprise inspections are motivated by allegations raised in the so-called painkiller lawsuit filed by former NFL players earlier this year. They allege that for years NFL teams illegally distributed painkillers in a way that left many of them addicted. More than 1,200 former players are suing the NFL, saying painkillers were, quote, handed out like candy at Halloween, leading to addictions and organ damage. We would never know what we really were taking at times, um, and I could uh, stand by that. In a statement regarding Sunday's raids, the NFL says its teams cooperated with the DEA, adding there is no information to indicate that irregularities were found. In Los Angeles, Brandy Hitt, ABC 7 News.